Here's Danny. Very good. Yeah. So. Why did you say that though? Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> matter. Uh, um, right. Let's just crack on, Dan. What's going on over over this over this weekend? Cool. We have got some cool things to tell you about. Uh, it's the lead up to Halloween. Uh, Halloween starts in earnest. You know, as if we haven't been doing lots of Halloween stuff already. But next week, it really starts in earnest. Uh, but we want to tell you about the card that's coming out in the Paleontology Finder first, and that's going to be the Hast's Eagle. Um, this is a, a prehistoric eagle. Uh, it was about the size of a um, about the size of a lion, but with wings, I guess. Um, imagine that. Uh, the ability is has to be perfect. And when you return when you return to your deck, if you won this turn and haven't won and have won one round this game, gain plus five energy per turn for three turns. So you need to have won a uh, <laughs> won one round, and uh, um, and be winning the turn, and then you get plus five energy for three turns. Finally, the F1 crossover we've all been waiting for. Hopefully, this plays faster than the uh, the 2021 Haas car, their spooky flute. Um, oh, for goodness sake, Dan. I mean, this thing was an absolute beast, wasn't it? It, it, it? Its wingspan was almost double that of a human, average human height and tons 70, 70, 75 minutes, so six, over seven centimetres long. Sort of, I, I would not like to have been stalked by one of these. Absolutely not, no. Um, uh, and presumably, this would be what would... Uh, be stalking you if you had drawn the tower in your tarot deck. Mm. Uh, the tower. So uh, my knowledge of tarot is um, is sketchy at best, uh, but I'm given to understand that the tower is if you draw the tower, um, chaos and disruption and devastation is uh, is in your future. Something, un- something unexpected. Yeah, I believe. Um, which which in your case might well be upheaval and destruction. Or, or a hast eagle. Yeah, um, but the uh, the uh, the ability on this card will, when you draw it, it'll take ten power from uh, all the cards in play. So that's all the cards in your opponent's hand, all the cards in your hand. Um, and then when you play it, it will that one hundred power will be given out to a certain card. If you play it while you're winning, it'll be given to one of your cards. If you play it um, any other time, then it there's an even chance it'll be given to one of your cards or one of your opponent's cards. But you you will know. Before well, you will know when you play which card has been given it, so you can wait until you've got a winning turn, or you can try it on a um, on a tied or drawing or, or a tied or a losing turn. Okay. Uh, to see where it goes, it's a bit like Schwarmer. Schwarmer was a card where you could play it down; it would sort of show you where its power goes to, um, so you could plan ahead. Um, now, Alison is very excited about these. Yeah, they, uh, say. they look great as well. Um, I don't know where these these tarot images are coming from, but they, we've embellished upon them really nicely. Very good. And let me move on to Vlad the Impaler. Vlad the Impaler himself. There he is. So, that's... so that Vlad, Vlad III, Dracul, mm-hmm. which is where Dracula obviously comes from, uh, and obviously had a, a penchant for, uh, for impaling people. It's a, it's a nice hobby. Strong moustache game as well. Look at that. <laughs> it is. <laughs> impaling people and styling it's and like waxing a, his moustache. Like cheese twist right there. <laughs> uh, a particularly burnt cheese twist. Um <laughs> So he is he's releasing alongside um uh so Vlad you get Vlad the Impaler, you get Candy Corn and Butcher Bird coming out at the same time in the league pack on Sunday. And they all have an effect that will buff uh, horrible Halloween cards. <laughs> this one in particular is if your deck contains uh, four or more Halloween cards, uh, it will give the card and the card opposite this has minus twenty five uh power. Sorry, a base power of twenty five or more. <laughs> Let's get that right. It'll give it minus 80 power, so it's a card for targeting uh, heavy cards on your opponent's side. Um, and of course, there's a little Halloween buff there, as we uh, as we mentioned. And you um, mentioned it's coming out uh, alongside Uber Snack Candy Corn. That's right. Let's have a look at some candy corn, shall we? Apparently, uh, apparently 15 million kilograms of this stuff is sold every year. I don't think any. I've never seen it in the UK. Have you? I I have actually. Kyle went to America one time and bought That's some right. back in the office, and um, because I was the only one who was visiting the office every time, I ate a lot of that candy corn. <laughs> <laughs> so um, okay. yeah, very very familiar with candy corn. It's very tasty, uh, and in game it's tasty as well. Um, if you uh, when, when you return when it's returned to your deck, if you won the turn, you get plus ten power per turn for the next three turns. But if you lose, you get minus five power per turn instead. So you want to play on a turn. You want you want to play it into a turn that you're likely to win. And then you get a bunch of extra power per turn for the next couple of turns. Nice. 
Um, okay, let's move tasty. on to the the butcher bird. Yes, the very last the last card I'd like to talk about this this session. It's uh, the butcher bird. Uh, tell us about the butcher bird, Duncan, because it's kind of great. It butchers things and sticks it on pointy things. Essentially, it's it's um, not unlike it, it, it uses like a larder, much like a sort of squirrel caches its nuts. Mm. Uh, a butcher bird will find somewhere good to secure uh, living critters it tends to feed off. So mice, things like that. Hangs, hangs, it up there, hangs it up there and picks at it. Yeah, like and, a... it, and it looks looks grim sometimes. If you it, it, in particular territories of these birds, you can see a lot of these depending on how successful they are. Just a lot of dead animals stashed. Yeah, indeed. Uh, the um, and it give, and in the game, it will give a the, your bugs and reptiles cards, even if they're in your deck, a bunch of extra power, and it'll have the same Halloween buff that uh, Vlad the Impaler and Candy Corn had as well. Um, cool. It's a nice card. Excellent. Right. Um, do you want to talk about leads now, or do you want to do a tease first, Dan? What would you like to do? Oh, I think well, like tease last time, and I think um, challenge you to tease them again. Yeah, let's do a tease, shall we? Um, so, I'm only. I'm not going to talk about the ability. I'm just going to show it up on screen. But we released a video a while back. Uh, oh, sorry, a while back, a couple of days ago, um, with all our Halloween cards, and um, one of the cards in that set was Cthulhu. There it is. Oh, it's gone now. Oh, God, people will have have to be very quick on their screen. Yeah, right. clip that to enjoy clip that. that. Is that what um, is that what they say on Twitch? Is clip that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Someone okay. will have hopefully Look, screenshot it. And Richard but, uh, just calmed on. Here's Danny. Hey, hey. You go. Uh, well done. Right. Uh, okay. So you've teased that now. Um, tell everybody on the league this week. It's a let's cracker. Let's be on the league. It's so a, uh, that's so good. Let's, uh, oh, there we go. Is, ready. Uh, Boom. So. <laughs> Halloween. So I've got to read out the um, the rules, haven't I? So there's your. Um... Oh damn! We've lost hey, you. There we go. Oh, Sorry. No, no. What's going on? <laughs> the um, so the rules. You get 24 starting energy. You get 16 energy per turn and 32 uh, energy start energy cap. Uh, so it's a you know a, a good opportunity to play lots of big cards. Um, and your power levels are horrible. Halloween for the last week of the Halloween arena gets 65 power. Uh, Life on Land will get 20 power. Oceans and Seas will get 15 power. History will get 15 power. Science will get 10 power. And Space will get 10 power. So no Paleontology Arena this week, this week, which I think some people will be quite happy about because Paleontology is very strong at the minute. Okay. Yeah. So there's lots to keep people happy there in a, in a nice, horrible Halloween league. Indeed. Love this it. is very much a crescendo of the, the, the Halloween stuff. All those Halloween cards we've got coming out are being buffed by other cards coming out in the collection. We've been doing our buffs all this week. We've got one more of those still to do tomorrow. Um, yeah. It's going to be spooky next week for sure. Spook week official, as someone's just written in there. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, we'll give people a few moments. Any questions for, for Dan, preferably not me. Um, if this is your opportunity to spit them out or wait till... I think you're off on holiday next week, aren't you, Dan? I am indeed, yeah. I don't know what we're going to do about videos next week. Well, anything like this is probably technically beyond me, so it'll probably be a straight-up video or something significantly more amateur running live. We'll yeah. see. Uh, asking Dan to buff Paleo, more or less... Annoying. Uh, more or less annoying the multiverse buffs. No, I, I, I don't consider it a good day unless someone's asked Dan to buff the multiverse. I can't figure out where I'm supposed to put my head to be in the frame. Um, you're in the frame, Dan. Don't so worry. yeah, good. Um, uh, I, I, you know, I, I, I talk a big game about the multiverse buff. I'd like to do it someday. Um, but I think in terms of which is the more purely annoying, probably the paleo ones because paleo is so good at the moment. Ice Age is a, is a big collection and um, it makes other paleo cards good around it. Um, so I think we need to if we if we were going to do anything, we'd sort of target Ice Age a bit more. But at the moment, it's not uh, oppressively bad like other decks have been in the past. So. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Toby's offered to be your stand in next week. Um, awesome. If we're still talking, Toby, I'll let so you know. I'll just have a, I'll, at 5 30, I'll have a cut off of anything I haven't done, and there is a lot. Toby can do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, I think we're we're we call that an end there then. I think so. Yeah, it's pretty oh, short. Yeah, I'm sorry. Pretty... Any terrific technology cards in the pipeline yet? Terrific question mark. Uh, not in the pipeline yet. No, it's a um, it's another album. We're going to be doing it. Uh, at some point, we've got ideas and things in the pipeline for what we'd like to do, but nothing has been scheduled or confirmed yet. So uh, continue so watching this space. There's uh, things waiting to be pipelined that are in the pipeline. 
is your response there. There's, a, there's, there's the pipeline, which is the, the actual physical pipeline of things that is being made, and the pipeline, which is the kind of the, the blue sky thinking uh, idea stage. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. I should okay. give them different names. Right. Excellent, then. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a keep good week. It, keep it keep it even harder in this tiny frame.